Screen Team Media. My name's Darren McMullen. I will be hosting this show. It's called Love in the Wild. So I'm the host of Love in the Wild. The best way to describe this show, it's a dating show with a difference. And the difference being, we actually put the relationship through its paces early on in order to see if these people are compatible. A lot of these other dating shows you see on television, they, they, they portray this nice fluffy, uh, wonderful um, interpretation of what the relationship will be like and in the reality when these people go back to their real lives they realize it isn't all fun and games and they don't work well together what we do is we put them through all kinds of tough horrendous challenges sometimes and see just how compatible these people are think movies like romancing the stone six days seven nights um, where you know you have these two complete strangers thrown into a wilderness overcoming obstacles and hopefully like in the movies, they find love and they go home and they make wonderful babies. Well, as you can see, we are in beautiful, sunny Costa Rica. Yeah, the sun went today. It has been pretty good up until now, but I'm Scottish. So anything above 40 degrees and we're on the beach anyway. So this is, this is a pretty nice holiday for me. Uh, it's, it's an amazing place, it really is. The people are so friendly. The landscape is so green, beautiful hills. Uh, the place we're staying at is in the shadow of the wonderful Arenal volcano, uh, one of the most active volcanoes in the world. I think it on average erupts between every five and 10 minutes. A uh, bit worried about that actually, being at the bottom of the volcano, but uh, fingers crossed. Some of the adventures we've got these guys going on are absolutely brilliant. I'd love to do them myself, uh, but I'm not allowed. That's not true. I'm actually too scared. But, uh, the, you know, we've got them doing things like um, trekking through the jungle, building rafts that they have to uh, row down crocodile infested waters. And I thought we were just saying that as a bit of a laugh to scare them. But no, we're not. They're actually crocodile filled waters. We pulled out a 15 foot croc two days uh, before the crews got here uh, and hopefully put it far away or maybe we put it back in there just to scare them even more uh, they'll be you know flying across uh, rope swings um, swimming long distances trekking through the jungle uh, having to um, solve puzzles go through bat infested caves um, very claustrophobic areas uh, climbing up to the highest heights of uh, some of the trees in Costa Rica. So we're really gonna be testing a lot of their phobias because I believe some of the contestants are a little bit claustrophobic. Some don't like heights uh, and others are just a little bit lazy too. So they're not gonna like the, the big treks we're sending them on. But all this is just really to, to push them to breaking point because if we get them there and they're still working well together, then hey, maybe there's a chance for this relationship to work. And if they do break, it's great television. The guys are, are, are damn good looking. I'm sure a lot of the girls watching at home will uh, be tuning in for the eye candy. And the women are as hot as hell too. And uh, you have brains, unlike some other television shows. If you put 20 complete strangers in an isolated environment together, there's gonna be a few people that aren't gonna get along. That's just statistics. Uh, there's gonna be a couple that will hook up and hopefully I think if we get one couple that continue an amazing relationship after this, I'd be happy. But uh, after they finish these uh, crazy challenges and adventures that we're putting them on, they get showered, cleaned up into their Sunday best, and they go back to the cabins and they'll be socializing, interacting together, having a few drinks. The barriers will come down. We have a massive big jacuzzi that they'll all be playing in, no doubt, pools. And uh, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if we, we see a bit of swapping of partners going on throughout the show. Now the elimination is a little bit tricky because we ultimately want to find love here. So it's not a competition as such. There will be definite advantages from uh, the couples coming in first in the adventure all the way through to the end. Um, but coming last doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get eliminated. Throughout the process that we're calling the couple's choice ceremony, or maybe we're not, <laughs> throughout the elimination process, all the couples will have the opportunity to switch partners if they want to. Maybe they're happy and they can move on to the next adventure and, and try their luck, or maybe they've picked a dud and want to switch it up. So that's where things are going to get interesting. And ultimately, at the end of every elimination ceremony, we're always going to have two people that haven't been picked, and they're the ones going home crying.